In this lecture, we will talk about CRISP-DM. That is the current methodology that is the standard that is supported by most of the data mining systems, and it is an acronym for Cross-Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. It has six phases in total, as we can see here. That is business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. So let's look at each phase into more detail. First is business understanding. Because we want to apply the same tool in a different application, that is finance, sport, or education, we need expert domains. In this phase, the problem needs to be defined. This phase can last for as long as several months in real projects. Requests from the businesses can be as vague as they get. That's why one crucial step is to turn these vague requests into specific questions and bring clear results. Getting to know the business reasons for a data mining effort helps to ensure that everyone is on the same page before expending valuable resources. Second phase is data understanding. This step is critical in avoiding unexpected problems during the next phase, that is the data preparation, which is typically the longest part of a project. So in the phase of data understanding, we need to talk to the people that are running the database. We need to collect the data, describe it, and verify the quality of it. Third phase is data preparation. This is the most consuming and most crucial task. It is estimated that data preparation usually takes 50 to 70% of a project's time and effort. The data needs to be cleaned and prepared for modeling. This could include dealing with missing data, having too much data, having too many attributes, having attributes with missing data, and many, many other unforeseen circumstances. The fourth phase is modeling. This is the phase where we search for useful patterns in our pre-processed and prepared data. It is rare for an organization data mining question to be answered satisfactorily with a single model and a single execution. This is what makes data mining so interesting. There are many ways to look at a given problem. The fifth phase is evaluation. In this phase, we check how good the result is. We have to evaluate the result of our efforts using the business success criteria established in the first phase, that is the business understanding phase. This is the key to ensuring that your organization can make use of the results you obtained. There are two types of results produced by data mining. That is the final model selected in the previous phase of the CRISDM and any conclusions or inferences drawn from the models themselves as well as from the data mining process. These are known as findings. We create models that will be able to solve our problem. For example, classify our future data or create clusters from the new data based on the previous data that we have analyzed. And finally, the sixth phase is deployment. That is the last phase. Results can be deployed in many different ways. For example, by creating a decision support system or modifying the guidelines based on the results. And let's look at the diagram one last time. So as we can see on the diagram, the process is not necessarily linear. We can as well go from one step back to the other in case we figure out we didn't do it well enough in the first place. For example, if we come to the evaluation step of the Chris DM, and we realize that the models do not solve our problem, we can simply go back to the business understanding in order to better understand what it was that we wanted to solve. <laughs>